Hi ladies, hi gents. Um, I want to share a project with you today and it's a design team project for Wild Orchid Crafts. And as usual I will pop all the links down below and I'll also pop um, the product codes of the items that I've used uh, down below in the description box. Um, okay, so this project is very shabby. <laughs> um, it's actually a dove house and the dove house came flat packed in plain wood. I'm just going to show you the back first. And um, what I did is I pre-cut all the paper to fit the pieces of wood um, before I put it together. Um, so then I built it and then I um, had all the paper pieces fitted um, beforehand so that I could glue them straight on so that made it a lot easier to cover in paper. Um, so and the paper I used is the butterfly, butterfly collection which is absolutely gorgeous and I just gessoed all the edges. Let me just show you the bottom so I've done that too. And um, these are the, the sides of the roof. There, so paper everywhere, all over it, and that's the front. Um, and I'm absolutely thrilled how it turned out. <laughs> um, actually, I think I'll start with the sides. Um, let me see if I can do this. Okay. So with the sides, I covered it in the paper, slightly gessoed all the edges, and um, for the top of the roof, I've um, put some lace on there and this lace is from Wild Orchid Crafts. I don't have any of it left, um, but I've got the packaging. Um, and it, it was perfect to make it look like uh, roof tiles. So I just cut strips and added it on and I've repeated this on both sides, so both sides are the same. And it was one metre of white cotton lace and the product code is MKX423 um, so that's the lace that I used for the roof and I just love how that turned out it's really cute um, across the top of the roof I've just used the miniature gardenias in pastel tones these are all um, miniature gardenias and they come in a 50 mixed colour pack and the product code is MKX198 and I use quite a lot of these so I've, I, I had two packets so I've used quite a lot out of both packets um, and they come in beautiful pastel colours um, then just at the front I've popped a little birdie. They did have orange beaks but I just said the beaks because I didn't really like the orange beaks. They, they just stood out too much. Um, so there's a little birdie. And then I've done a cluster of flowers also on the side of the roof. And again, there's miniature gardenias. There's some dried um, dried flowers that I had in my stash. Um, so I've used some of these uh, white gypsophilia flowers. And I just gessoed the stem white and they're tucked in between the grasses on the side here. And the product code for these is MKX631. And I love these um, because you can just sow the stem if you don't want too much greenery and you can just shape these out as well. And so they're layered in amongst the grass on the sides like that in between the flowers. So I've used those. I've used the miniature gardenias. I've also used cherry blossoms in the pastel colours. 
and the product code is MKX347. I love these. So you can see the these are the cherry blossoms here, the gardenias here, and then there's some tiny sweetheart blossoms as well. And I used the very uh, the pink and white sweetheart blossom set, and there's some very pale pinks and whites in here. And the product code is MKX637. So these were perfect also. And um, I gave them a light coat of gesso. I then popped a butterfly on here. And this corner piece is also from Wild Oak Grass. Uh, this comes in a set of four. It's called the Trio Collection and the product code is GST075. And um, I'm so thrilled how the, the, the roof turned out on this, I really am. And I have repeated that on the other side of the roof. So. So thrilled how that turned out. Okay, then the front. Um, so each uh, bird hole ha has a, um, a shelf in front of it. So I've added these filigree pieces above the centre of the doors. And they are the Trio Collection Orna Ornaments Cutout Set. And these are gorgeous. And the product code is GST068. I absolutely love this one. And it, they were just the perfect fit for, for on here. Um, so on each um, shelf I've put some more of the dried flowers. This one I've used um, some more of the gardenias. My bird there. There's a piece of blue on it that I'll have to get off, which I have. Um, this shelf I've used a mixture of the different colours, gardenias and the sweetheart blossoms. And again the dried flowers from my stash. And on the bottom one, because it's a lot bigger, I have used the cherry blossoms and the gardenias. And no, I haven't used sweetheart blossoms on there. And those cherry blossoms are so beautiful. I really love them. And I love how that turned out. And the little birdies I had in my stash. Um, then just down at the bottom, I have this beautiful lace, which is um, also from Wild Orchid Crafts. I'll show you in a minute. And I just popped a... Um, a little bead embellishment in each flower and just so did and on the sides I put a fabric flower in the center I've done that on that side as well if I just show you the lace I've got a bit of this one left the product code for this is MKX224 and this is the white uh, Gupia lace with fabric flowers it's beautiful. Oh, I just love this. How gorgeous is that? It's really stunning. So shabby. <laughs> I really love it. Um, I think that's me. I just used the tiny trim on the front edging of everything. Here, you see this tiny trim that I had in my stash just to edge everything. But overall, I am so thrilled how this turned out. I love the colours. And the flowers were just... I wanted to concentrate on using smaller flowers um, for this. And it's 
I'm just thrilled how it's turned out. I really am. Oh yeah, I've got a just up in the point here. This is actually off a ring, so I just um, just sewed it over. It, it was just the right point to to fit in there. So and so that's my Dove House, and I'm I'm just thrilled how it turned out. I really am. So I really hope you like it. Um, please, please go check out the store. Um, they've had a lot of new laces in. Um, and they've got all the beautiful, beautiful pastel colours in. Um, and the flowers. And I'm absolutely loving these cherry blossoms. I just do not use them enough. I must use them more. Because I'm so thrilled with how that looks. Um, and they were so perfect for this. Um, so, um, yeah, so uh, this also has a hole in the back so that I can hang it up and I will be hanging this piece up because um, I like the the softness, the uh, sort of, I, I don't know, it's just got a softness that I really love so I really want to hang this up, I just like, need to find a space to put it. <laughs> But um, yeah, let me know what you think and um, hopefully I'll be back soon with another project. Bye for now.